Right. So yeah, at that point you were like, okay, I have more understanding of, of what I want to do here. And I know that you shared with me this, this, um, experience while, while doing the, the tall ship, while being captain of the tall ship, where these individuals, these some, most of the time, older individuals, if I remember correctly, would, would have a couple of drinks and open up to you and basically talk to you about how they did, they, they did have regrets. So you almost had like this community of people that had no regrets and were super excited and doing the right things for the right reasons. And then you had these types of people that were just kind of like almost spilling their hearts out a little bit. You want to take me through, first of all, what that, uh, what that group of people was, was typically saying to you, um, while you were a captain. And then I'll ask you some questions just about how you sort of balanced being, being part of both of those sort of groups at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. There, there was there, I mean, um, for some context, it was people, that would come to me because I was, I was the captain of this schooner in Key West and they would come back and ask me how they could do this. They wish they could have done it when they were my age. I was 26 at the time. Um, all of these, all of these things that they thought were important that they did because they were either comfortable at the time that was expected of them by family or friends or pressures from, pressures from society, pressures from the status quo. They, uh, you know, they went through the motions thinking, Hey, this is the right thing to do because everybody's doing it. It's what should be done. Those people were by far and away the majority of folks that were unhappy with the decisions that they had made in the past and really would do anything to come back and, and relive them in some way, shape or form. The, uh, um, one of the one of also an overwhelming characteristic was you would say to them, "Hey, man, you're like, I might be 26, but you're 55, and you have kids that are already in college. Um, it's just you and your wife. Like, of course, you could you can straight up buy a sailboat, come down to Key West, you could do this yourself. Nope, can't do it. We've already now we've got a mortgage, and and eh, my wife wouldn't really go for it, and." Um, nah, it's like, I'm, I'm too tied in with the job and I don't know anybody down here. And it just, it was excuse after excuse after excuse. And what you realize is that most of those people are just battling two opposing ideas all the time. They've got this draw towards the unknown to this, to this euphoria that Key West seemed to represent for them in the moment. But then, but then their brain kicks in and says, whoa, 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 uncomfortable, that's, you don't know what you're doing. You're not an expert sailor. You, uh, you're going to fight with your wife about it. She's not going to go for it. So, you know, don't like, don't do this, right? Just, just stay in your lane. 